Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn a really cool feature that is part of the Android support library, and that's called Password Visibility Toggle. Uh, let me show you the app in the emulator so that I can share with you guys uh, what is actually the password visibility toggle. So here in the emulator, I have an app uh, that inside the app I have a text input layout and inside the text input layout I have the uh, the text input edit text so uh, this edit text basically has an input type of password and you can see on the right here I have an icon so let's say when you write your password here uh, for example this is my password right so by default you won't see the password but when you click on the icon that's on the right here you click on that and the password is visible so when you click or when you click on it again and the password is uh, hidden so that's basically the password toggle visibility password password visibility toggle so let's open up android studio and build the app okay open up android studio and create a new project and then i call this uh, text input tutorial and I click on next basically leave everything as a default click on next you click on next and you click on finish okay build is complete and uh, the first thing is we need to do is go to gradle script and they go to build gradle module app and then at the bottom here we're going to add the uh, the library for the design, the design support library. So we do compile then com dot android dot support then design and then the version number would be this one 24.2.1 okay and then you click on sync now okay so it's, the sync is complete uh, another thing is, now we, do, we are done with Gradle, we go to activity underscore main. Okay, so we're going to remove the text view here. And then we're going to go back to the design. And then from the design, you look at the palette here, and then you look, and then you look for the, uh, the text input layout. So it's done the bottom here yeah there it is text input layout so you drag it to the top here and then you go back to the text and then we're going to change the first thing which is the hand so we're going to put in password and then we're going to extract this click ok so we have the password here next we need to give an ID for the text input layout so it's Android ID and then we're going to call it password okay next is uh, we need to add app and then let's create a declaration for this next we're going to do password and we have a few options here so the first thing we need to do is we need to enable the password toggle so choose that the third option password toggle enabled and then you pass in true okay so for now let's run the app and show you guys the the basic version of the toggle password and then uh, the next thing is we're going to customize that so for now let's uh, let me show you the uh, the basic version so let's run the app. I have the Nexus 5 running. So we'll choose that. Click OK. OK, so the app is, uh, is running. But the thing is, we can actually see the, the icon. The reason why, OK, the reason why is because if you go back to the edit text here, we, haven't, uh, we didn't actually pass in the input type. For the edit text so it should be android input type and then we're going to do say text password okay 
Another thing that is recommended is when you use the text input layout, then you should use the text input edit text. So we'll do Android and then dot support dot design dot text input edit text. Yes, that's the one. That's the option. So let's run the app again. Okay, so the app is running. And there you have it. So we have the icon. So let's say I uh, put in a password. Okay, by default it is uh, by default it is hidden as uh, as a password. And then when you click on the icon here, and the password is shown. So you can notice here that by default it's the icon is a bit uh, has a uh, a gray color, which is a light color, not that dark. But when you click on the icon again, then it will have uh, an almost black color so that's basically the default uh, the default icon the default password visibility toggle but let's say if you want to customize that you can actually customize that by uh, using your own icon if you want to but for now we're going to uh, use the same icon but instead when you click on the icon then it will have the a slash here that indicate basically that the password whether it's visible or it's hidden. So let's do that. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to uh, Google material de uh, material design icons. So I have it open here in my Chrome, and then you're going to look for the icon that uh, uh, with the eye that we want to use that for the for the password. So you scroll down, and uh, there it is. So we have the the visibility and then we have the visibility off. So you click on the visibility and then uh, we don't need the icon font. And then uh, we need to uh, choose a size of 18. You select 18 and the color is uh, black. Okay, and then you download that. You click on the PNGS and then you download that. So you do that for the visibility and for the, visi and for the visibility of icon. So you're going to download two icons. Uh, uh, for now, I've actually downloaded those icons, so let me just import them inside the uh, my project. Okay, so I've already imported the uh, the two icons, which is the visibility and the visibility off. So as you can see them here under the drawable folder. Uh, another thing is now we have the icons ready. Another thing is we need to create a file under the drawable. And that file will act as a selector. So the selector will basically, uh, based on the selection, based on the selection, it will show it will show the whether the icon is visible, or the icon is uh, whether the visibility is on or the visibility is off for the icon. So right click on the drawable folder, and then uh, choose a drawable resource file, and then we're going to call this. Uh, icon selector and then click on OK so I have this selector here and inside this selector we're going to add item to item which represent the both icons so item and then we'll do Android drawable and then inside the drawable we're going to look for the, uh, the visibility on OK and then here we're going to do Android state active, sorry, state checked, and then we're going to set that to true. Okay. Uh, let me just put a slash here. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing for the uh, the other item, the other icon. So it's item Android drawable, and then this one is for the visibility off, and then. We're just going to close that. So you might be asking, like, why we added an Android state checked here? It's because by what we want to do here is when you run the app, by default we want the this visibility uh, drawable to be checked as true, so that when you run the app, then you will see the the crossed icon that is visible. We don't want the uh, the we don't want the icon. Which has the uh, 
which has the uh, eye without the slash to be visible first. That's why we've added the Android state check. So when you run the app, the, the first icon that's going to show up is the one with, uh, with the slash here. That's why we added the Android state check for the first uh, drawable. Now we, uh, the, we are done with the icon selector file, so we're going to use that file and we're going to use it as a drawable for the password toggle. So go back to activity underscore main, okay, and then inside the text input layout, we're going to do app and then password toggle drawable, that's the one, and then we're going to pass in uh, the file that we've just created drawable icon selector okay so now we have the uh, the drawable ready next is we need to give it a color so we can color that using again app and then password color but sorry password togo tent that's the one and then we're going to select the color accent uh, which is the one that we have in our project here so choose that so, and then we have the color so what we did right here is we created a file that is the icon selector. So this icon selector has two drawable, which is the visible without the, the eye with, with, without slash, and the other one is the eye with slash. Uh, you can get that from the uh, Google Material Design icon. And then we reference that here as a uh, password toggle drawable. And then we give it a color, which is the, the color accent that is uh, added inside our project here. So everything looks good. Let's give it a run. Okay, so the app is running. Okay, see, we have the icon and we have the, uh, the icon with a slash. That's the default icon that when you run the app, that's the one that's going to be visible the first time. Now, when you add in password, so by default, the password is hidden. When you click on the icon, the password is visible and the icon changed from the the eye without the eye with slash and to the next icon, which is the eye without slash. So I click on that again, the password is visible. You click on it and the password is uh, showing up. So that's basically what is toggle uh, password visibility is all about. Uh, if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more uh, of awesome tutorials, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and happy coding.